Doug. Hi, <laughs> Doug. Okay, so Doug and I are going to pick some fresh mint for our new soap, which is going to be called Limenthal. Oh, and there's a turkey. Oh, I bet she has a nest in here. Turk, Turk, do you have a nest in here? Move. I bet she does. Looky there. Are you all able to see that? Egg. Hmm. Okay, well, I won't bother. Sorry, Turk, Turk, I won't bother it. Move, Doug. No, Doug. Come on, Doug. So, I had to get Doug away. I don't want him bothering her nest. And I'm just picking some of these uh, tender tips here. And they are, we've had a lot of rain, so these are just full of lovely minty juice. And I'll be putting these in the juicer along with my limes to get some of that natural minty fragrance. And is it minimal? Yes. But you also get the benefit of knowing that you're getting a fresh organic ingredient in your soap. And also, what a fun, fun process this is. It's something I so enjoy. Not just picking it, but putting it in a tea. I dry my own mint. And this is a big crop here. And it's just coming up. Um, well, it has been coming up for the last week or so, two weeks, uh, since it has started to warm a bit. It's been in the 50s and 60s. Uh, now, I froze last night, but no problem. All right, so I'm going to continue getting this picked and we're going to take it in and get it juiced. So I have my fresh mint. These are my South Texas limes and I've got the juicer ready here. So we're going to go ahead and load it up and get to juicing. So it's going to get a little noisy here, so I will mute it out. Just enjoy the music while I grind away. See what we've got here. Looks delicious, doesn't it? And we have, oh, about about a thousand mils there, or about uh, thirty-five ounces. Fantastic! All right, let's get putting our soap together. So. 
Now we're going to go ahead and get our menthol dissolved and we're going to be dissolving this right in our distilled lime essential oil. So I'm going to measure out here six ounces for this recipe. Right, perfect. Six ounces. And because we've got 110 ounces of oil in this recipe, we're going to add in 2.2 ounces, which is 2% uh, menthol. So let me tear out my scale here. And we're going to measure out 2.2 ounces of our menthol crystals into our lime essential oil here. We're getting there. Perfect. 2.2 ounces of our menthol crystals. And I'm going to let these just dissolve in our essential oils while we put together our essential oil, I should say, just one, our distilled lime. And these will, you, you can quickly dissolve these in heat or let them sit overnight and oil. There are a lot of different ways. I've done several videos on this, but this I'm just going to let it slowly dissolve in this. By the time uh, I get our lime and mint uh, frozen mixture mixed with our lye and get our oils ready, this will be completely dissolved. So I'm just going to set it aside and then we're going to come back and put it together. I have my lime and my mint juice here and it's nice and frozen and we're going to go ahead now and add our Y solution and get this melted so we can turn it into a luscious soap. I'm so excited about this one. This is the first soap of joy and that's what I'm going to call it that I've made in a while. Most of the soap that I've been making recently has been uh, for stock, uh, restocking, and mostly that's been my pure bison bars. And those are both for my Etsy customers, my market customers, and my wholesale customers. But as far as just making a soap for the pure joy of making a soap, I haven't had the opportunity to do that for a while. Now you'll notice that this is turning kind of an orangey color. That's not unusual. Uh, we're adding sodium hydroxide, also known as lye, to our very cold uh, lime and mint juice. Those are natural uh, products and they're not burning. This is still very, very cold. But the chemical process causes it to turn orange. Now that will return to a normal color uh, in the soap. Of course, I'll be adding some green. I have actually uh, some infusion here. This is kale and spinach, spirulina, and a bit of chlorophyll to give a nice green texture to this. And I won't be using a lot of it because we don't want it dark green. Uh, we just want it to have that hint of a green, but we'll talk more about that once we get into the making of it. So right now I just want to get the lime and the mint juice that you just saw me juice. Uh, get that melted and ready for our soap.
unfortunately, the weather here is nice and cool uh, today. Well, it's not cold. It's in the low 60s. It's just nice and cool in here. I haven't had any heat on or anything, so everything's staying nice and cool. And all I can smell is that lime juice, and it is just divine. And of course, I've got the lime essential oil and menthol right here, too. So those mixed uh, fragrances are just fantastic. All right, we're almost completely dissolved here. I'm going to get my oils. Those are ready here. And I've got my oils and butters ready here. We've got olive oil, uh, mango butter, coconut oil, uh, cocoa butter, uh, castor oil, and I think that's it in this one. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and actually get my essential oils blend on the where I'm going with this I'm gonna go ahead and get the essential oils added in here too That certainly is orange, isn't it? But we're going to take care of that in just a moment here. I'm actually going to add in a bit more of the spirulina. Oops. Maybe a lot more than I meant. <laughs> I'm going to split up a little bit of this. And lighten it a little bit more. See if we can't get a little variation here. That lime is just delicious smell. So this poured at just the right consistency, but I forgot to do my swirl. I poured it in with every intention of using my hanger swirl tool and I actually had it laying over just six inches for my hand <laughs> and I just forgot it. It just completely slipped my mind and uh, for that I apologize. This also came out a little grassier than I meant in color, not that lime color, and I think that's because I didn't measure out this, that extra spirulina I added in. I was trying to be clever and just shake out a little bit, and a big clump fell in, which darkened it. Now, spirulina does lighten up in soap, so that and the kale and the spinach, I think, as it cures over the next few weeks it will continue to lighten from my past experience and it'll probably be just the color that I want but I much prefer that it be the color I want at the time I'm making <laughs> the soap and I'm sure any of you that have made soap understand that as well I just wanted to add a little swirl on top I had no plan here uh, quite frankly it was just, uh, I wanted something. I didn't want to build it up because I wanted to gel this because of the natural colorants. So I did just 
put the cover on it. I love my Winston and Walter uh, tall and skinny mold for this purpose. Uh, but to put the lid on, you can't do any texturing on the top unless you pour a shorter soap. So, because I like big old tall soaps, <laughs> uh, I uh, deal with what I have to deal with, and that means a non-textured top on this particular mold. So, because I didn't use the hanger swirl, as you can see, there's not much to see. I did forget to turn on the other light, so I had to reach over and turn that on real quick. It was looking a little dark there, I know. Uh, they smell terrific. That lime essential oil really does come through, and the menthol is just there enough to give it that bit of a boost. I really like the, the scent of these a lot, and that's why I'm calling them lime menthol lime menthol nothing too clever there but i'm really happy with these these are nice big tall bars uh, these are well over six ounces very nice uh, these will probably be in the shop in uh, late april mid-april to late april and uh, overall i'm pretty darn happy with them uh, it is so much fun to just make a soap, to make a soap, to not have to fulfill a requirement. Now that is important too, and I'm not gonna say I don't enjoy that too, but this is much more relaxing, just doing something for the heck of it. And I love doing soaps with unusual ingredients. And I've been doing this for years, using food and soaps and using natural colorants. and. What's so neat is now I'm seeing more and more soaps go the natural route, and I think that's really cool. I, I think that there's no such thing as a natural soap, but using natural ingredients as much as you can, I think is a good thing. For someone with very sensitive skin like me, that is pretty much a requirement. But that's it everyone. I hope you enjoyed this. I did have fun putting these together and it's always fun getting to visit with you as well. Have a terrific day everyone and I'll see you back soon. Goodbye. Mm -hmm.